It was a beautiful autumn day, early November, leaves on the ground. My daughter and I decided to go out for a little scooter ride and go look for fossils along the Pontlidge River. And we've been out various times before. I would found all kinds of ammonites and bivalves and crabs and lobsters. There wasn't very many people collecting at the time, so it was relatively easy to find things. But that particular day, we found something totally unexpected. We found the bones of an elasmosaur. Initially finding just a couple of vertebrae, little arcs in the same radius, parallel to each other, sticking out of the rock. And then that cluster of them turned into another cluster. And then within a couple of days, we had 11 of them that were articulated or still in straight line. And so we could measure the disk spacing between them. And we knew we really had something there. We uh, called up the Royal BC Museum on the Monday morning, told them what we had. They came up and took a look at it and uh, everything took off from there. So a couple years later, we went down and put on a full excavation, full quarry, about 25 volunteers at a time. And uh, what was it 23 field days later, uh, we managed to take out a 14-meter uh, long plesiosaur, which is our local elasmosaur. Yes, we did a uh, very accurate mapping right from the very beginning. Um, I took out a piece of graph paper and uh, drew up the first cluster that we found and then very carefully removed two of them and mapped each, every bit of direction of their orientation. So I could take them home under better light and go, yes, this really is bone. <laughs> it was so hard to tell at first. Well, initially I contacted Dr. Richard Hebdet at the Royal BC Museum. And then from there that went to uh, Dr. Elizabeth Nichols at the Royal Terrell Museum. And then from there also to uh, Dr. Rolf Ludvigsen, who was living locally here on Demon Island. And between the three of us, we just kept at it. Um, also contacted, of course, the Courtney District Museum within the first month of discovery. Well, to bring it to the Courtney Museum was because it was, it was found locally. It belongs to the, uh, to the community, it belongs to the province, to the right, you know, to everyone. Well, it belongs to our community. It doesn't belong to any particular person. Um, it's, it's a thing of science and it has to be brought forward for everybody to learn and um, have fun with. Well, a tremendous amount has come from the discovery of just a, initially just a few bones and a few rocks. Um, we have, it's inspired hundreds and hundreds of kids now to get out there and, and collect and to learn about things and, you know, get their eyes looking for things uh, rather than sitting at home playing video games. Always record where, uh, the location of your fossil. Um, otherwise, it's just a pretty rock. Um, if you have the information as to where you've discovered it and you have it labeled, then a researcher even 20 years later can come along and go, hey, that's something brand new. You know, can I work on this and write a paper? There has to be context for your discovery or else it truly isn't a discovery. It's like if you, you know, anything that you find, if you find a rock, if you find a fossil, if you find a flower, without being able to say where you found it, really doesn't help a lot of other people. I can see it carrying on for a very long time. Um, there's brand new, or new fossils being discovered all the time. Uh, we have several new species that have been described just this year alone. And several other parts of Vancouver Island, especially the North Island and just, just immediately north of Courtney too, we have a couple of um, very good sites that are producing uh, world-class material, just like the Courtney area. The collections at the Courtney Museum now, including the elasmosaur, the mosasaurs, um, our ammonites, our plant material, uh, this has attracted um, international recognition and researchers from all over the world. We have um, botanists, paleobotanists working on material from here. We have um, people that specialize in cephalopods and ammonites and squids. We have people that uh, specialize in our marine, in our marine vertebrates. Um, all keep coming up with saying, hey, this is all new.